All disease begin in the gut. That is a quote from Hippocrates, the father of modern medicine, that he stated over 2,500 years ago. However, this still holds true today. You see, within our gut is a protective barrier made of tightly packed cells known as epithelial cells. You can think of this epithelial barrier as a piece of cheesecloth. Normally, holes are small, allowing only nutrients through while keeping pathogenic bacteria and toxins out. Located beneath this epithelial barrier are star-shaped cells, known as enteric glial cells, the main cell type found within our enteric nervous system. In a healthy gut, enteric glial cells produce factors that make our epithelial barrier stronger. However, overexposure to unhealthy foods, antibiotics, toxins, or even stress can lead to the disruption of the epithelial barrier exposing enteric glial cells to harmful materials. In response, enteric glial cells switch their behavior and become reactive, producing factors that further damage the epithelial barrier, allowing toxins to enter our bloodstream. The problem is that a disrupted epithelial barrier is associated with numerous diseases, such as type 2 diabetes, inflammatory bowel disease, fatty liver disease, rheumatoid arthritis, Parkinson's disease, and multiple sclerosis. So the question is, how do we prevent this? Diet is emerging as one of the leading influencers of a healthy gut. When we eat dietary fibers from foods such as fruits, vegetables, nuts, legumes, and whole grains, our gut bacteria ferments them into nutrients such as short-chain fatty acids, which reinforce the gut barrier. However, no studies have yet looked at the effects of short-chain fatty acids on enteric glial cells behavior and its influence on the epithelial barrier. My research uses a cell culture model system in which I grow epithelial cells and enteric glial cells to study the effects of short-chain fatty acid treatment. I first expose the cells to toxins to stimulate a disrupted epithelial barrier. I then treat enteric glial cells with short-chain fatty acids to determine if one, short-chain fatty acid treatment return enteric glial cells into their non-reactive state, and two, if this leads to the improvement of the epithelial barrier. My research will provide an understanding on the potential use of enteric glial cells as a target for fixing a disrupted epithelial barrier. And perhaps one day we can finally say that all diseases can be prevented within the gut. Thank you.